Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. We're going to be fighting Safajiva. We're going to be working on an Impact File Charge Blade. Oh my gosh, feels good to be back. I've been on Christmas vacation for like an entire week. So, I've been laying around, getting fat, opening a few Pokemon cards every now and then, but not really even that every night. Playing some Gears of War with my wife. We went house shopping. Um, we're trying to help her parents. We're moving them into a smaller home than they currently own. And then we're going to sell off the home that they own, move them into the small home, and hopefully some of the proceeds of the sale can help her mother with, uh, well, they, they kind of went bankrupt with the, the mother had a, well, she, she used to have stage four cancer. Apparently they did, the doctors did a really good job and apparently there's no signs of the cancer anymore, but that doesn't mean it's all over. She still has to have, you know, multiple checkups each year and in case it comes back she's gonna have to go through chemo again so that's what i've been busy with for the last uh, about week right hope you guys had a nice christmas i'm ready to play some monster hunter again there's always a lot going on with monster hunter so i've got some catching up to do since i took the week off uh, there's some news to go over uh, there's, you know, I gotta try and finish more of the Safajiva weapons if, if possible. Getting the Dracolite is actually a really big part of the grind. It's like a bottleneck for what you can build. So we need lots and lots of Dracolite, and that's what we'll be doing at the beginning of this stream. We'll be farming up Safajiva, as we've done a million times, it feels like, already. Uh, and then after we've farmed him up, we'll be able to build some powerful weapons for after he's left. I don't even know what we're gonna do when he leaves. So I, I have no clue, but we'll probably be jumping over to the PC because Iceborne is about to launch on the PC. So that's kind of where we're at right now. All right. So we have the online session ID shown in the upper right hand corner. You could rewind the, rewind the stream to look at that again, or you can screen capture that. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. After this, we'll probably open up some Pokemon cards like we normally do. Oh, looks like I didn't collect this last time, or I probably did, or I didn't save it. Rigid Dracolite. What? That's so much Dracolite. What do we got here? <gasps> do I want this? I don't really care about that. I'll take that though. Drag shot. I heard with the light bow guns, you're supposed to take a bunch of them because you'll do elemental setups, but then alternatively, you'll do like, you know, spread or sticky or something like that. I haven't figured out the light bow guns yet. <laughs> Aqua Claws, yeah, we'll take the Aqua Claws. They're going to be needed. Here's Aqua Shot. Take a second, Aqua Shot. I think Aqua Shot's the one where you do sticky ammo, right? All right, and last time we played, we worked on this Switch X build, which is actually pretty good looking. You would take a quick look at it. There we go. Crit Eye, Resentment, Agitator, Health Boost, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, Part Breaker, Blast Attack. We got a Vade Window in there somehow. Master's Touch and Dragon Vein Awakening. So we've got both of those things. All right. The only thing we don't have is a health regen augmentation. I wonder if we can afford it. Fan says, did you know that apparently a Latreon theme is in the game files? Ooh. <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, I, I guess we could probably suspect we're getting him, huh? Let's choose augment equipment. Oops. No, no, no. We don't want that. Yeah, we have a limited number of those. What about the health regen augmentation? Guiding Reef, Dragon Bone, low on those. Charge Deathly Shocker, so I'm low on those as well. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it anyways. These are our Safajiva weapons, so we're going to be using our Safajiva weapons a lot in the future, I suspect. Shadow Prax says, should I go to sleep? Hell no, you should watch the live stream. What are you even thinking, man? Yo, 1.58 a.m. in the morning, he's still doing live video. That's right, we just started. So if you want to watch some Monster Hunter, feel free to do that. You know, if you got to go to bed, you got to go to bed. It's Monday morning tomorrow. Um, I guess we'll just have the Chef's Choice Platter. It doesn't really matter to me. If you use Health Regen, then Resentment don't work anymore. Are you sure about that? Thinking about it. Ooh, I wish there was a way to test this. Is it that it doesn't work as effectively, or does it just not work? Let's jump over there. Are you always going to be streaming at 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning now, or is it because of your vacation? Sorry for asking, but I just didn't want to lose sleep. Uh, my stream schedule has been nuts, and, and the biggest problem is my sleep schedule has been nuts. Sadly, I get my best work done at night. That's because my wife goes to bed. 
And then I have no temptation to hang out with her because she's asleep and I'm not. So I get all my voice acting done. I get all my commentaries done. So you will probably see a lot of late night streams. Uh, I can't guarantee the lunch stream. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Oh, you're right. Check that out. No, you're right. In other words, I would probably have to take damage in order to actually get resentment. All right. L let's jump back to the gathering hub. We're going to remove that. We're going to remove that augmentation. Thanks for pointing that out before we left. Yeah, let's go fix it. What well, Kiba says, Hey, Game Economist, I've made a plan system for getting three most Draculite each run. I can message you the plan in Discord if you'd like. Yeah, so if you guys want to help, one of the things we're very curious about is how to do a better job farming for the Draculite. I'm really interested in that. I'm also interested in the fastest way to farm Draculite if you're playing by yourself. But I think you have to defeat... Don't you have to defeat Safajiva? Buyers uh, with a group at least once before the Elder Melder rerolls are become available. I don't know if that's true. I think that's true. Tavasa says, "I live in South Africa, and in the future, it's already Monday morning. <laughs> Rainy days and Monday mornings." Game Maddox says, "Hey, his stream schedule has been non-existent, pretty much." Xavier Lawrence says, "Did they get rid of Cold Siege, or is she just not here? She shouldn't be here. God." They made us get all those cove weapons, and they were all pointless. And keep in mind, by the way, the Safajiva weapons might be entirely the same. You might work your little hiney off to get all these Safajiva weapons, only to find out that they're quickly made obsolete in, like, one update. So keep that in mind, guys. In other words, if it feels like you're grinding, you probably are grinding, and there's probably not a good reason to do that. Winter Star Ticket. Ah, dang it, I wasn't getting these every day. Should have been. All right, let's go ahead and post. No, no, yeah, we will post. Let's post. Begin the siege. The purple dragon. Puff the magic. Oh. Will you do the behemoth solo quest? There's a behemoth solo quest. What? I just realized I was. Oh, there's a bunch of bubble wrap. You should see where I work. There's all this bubble wrap everywhere from all the Pokemon cards. What the hell? I need like a huge trash can. Will I do the Behemoth solo quest? I will never do the Behemoth solo quest. What are you talking about, man? Roll back. Remove upgrades. Ah, that's nice. Okay, we're fine on that. <laughs> How come when you stream, I don't get notified? Wah! <laughs> Look at the little face he's making. I don't know, Cone. How did you find out I was streaming? You must have found out somehow. Did you find out in the Discord channel? Must have found out in the Discord channel. Don't forget to join my Discord channel. The giant enemy spider. Almost done with my spread heavy bogan build. Can't wait to use it. Xavier Lawrence says, I've combined five set Safajiva with QR weapons, and it works, and a, f a few decorations for 100 affinity, and it actually works. Yeah, but the QR weapons, they suck. QR weapons are terrible. They're, they're super obsolete now. Come on, Falker. Yay, we get to go. So we get away. I should get some music going on in the background. What do you guys think of that? Probably some music? Probably get some Minecraft music. How tired are you guys of Safajiva? Safajiva's been out for a little while, and we have been grinding Safajiva like nuts. We need some new activities, I think. I wonder if I should pick up a second game. Oh, cool. I go to my YouTube <laughs> and it recommends my own live stream. That's fun. <laughs> but let's see. We need some music. Come on, YouTube. Recommend me some music. Here we go. Nope. I can't play any of those. Here we go. Listen again. Minecraft full soundtrack. Love playing Minecraft in the background. It's such a calming soundtrack. All right. What are your thoughts about Trump being in a peach? He's in a peach? Um, I think basically it's going to backfire on the Democrats. I think it was probably really... It didn't work out for them, in my opinion. Uh, I think that... They should have focused on... Addressing the underlying issues that concern voters the most. Because the problem with the impeachment is that it looked extremely... One-sided. It looked like the Democrats using their position to go after someone. Basically, that's about it. 
Yeah, I don't think it actually helped them. We impeached him with not a single vote from the Republicans. That's not going to look good. And then they're going to claim that the Republicans are the bad guys, but, you know, you know how it is. Smart people don't believe that stuff too easily. There has to be some consensus between Republicans and Democrats. We got him, boys! Whoop. Either lo-fi beats or Minecraft? Nah, I don't touch the lo-fi beats. I actually never liked the lo-fi beats. Just made a perfect Safaji bow today, and I'm like, yeah! And then I realize I have all the other bows to do. Frick! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, let's get his arm broken. That's what we'll be focusing on, because we deal sever damage. Is he going to roar? Ouch. Wow. Safaji was kind of an annoying fight for weapons like the, the uh, switch axe. I feel like I'm going to eat a lot of Mega Potions. What do you think of Donald Trump? Actually, there is some sad uh, political news. Uh, there's a famous black senator uh, from the Democratic Party, and he just found out he has stage 4 pancreatic cancer. So that's pretty sad. Feel bad for him. I don't really care what his political stances are. It's always sad to hear about that, you know what I mean? One of those, it comes for us all kind of things. Yeah, that's pretty tough. What's his name? It's John Lewis, I believe. He's been in politics a long time. Oh, I still got hit by the wind. Yeah, he was just told he's got pancreatic cancer in stage 4. Man. Imagine finding that, that out one day. By the way, you've got three months to live. Planning on getting that third jungle pack from you this weekend, having a hard time finding cases for them might resort to standard frames. For sure, man. And did you know, actually, 205, that you can send packages, you can send booster packs into PSA to have them graded? Uh, and even if you don't have a perfect grade on the pack, it would essentially put them in a sort of a sealed frame. So that's another thing you could consider. And then nobody could open them and yada, yada, yada. I, it, it's a cool idea. I'm actually thinking about doing it myself. Especially for the Team Rocket packs, since I'm, as you know, I'm a big fan of the Team Rocket cards. Come here, you. Woo! God, why do you keep moving away? <laughs> nice. Oops. Whew. Good thing I recovered that health. Is no one going to drop the boulders on him? Nice, nice, nice. Why didn't I do the... Uh... That was weird. Woo! Feeling pretty powerful. You can tell the weapon's stronger. Did crit draw get buffed by any chance? That was my favorite strategy in 3U. Uh, you could probably do like crit draw greatsword, I guess. Uh, there's a funny crit draw build. Oops, he was on it first. There's a funny crit draw build using the uh, heavy bow gun, where you do nothing but claw attacks with the clutch cloth. This is going to hurt. So there's that. I don't know if that counts. How's it going, Mechazilla? He says, it's been a while since. Yeah, it's been a while. I didn't even stream that much this week. I think I streamed like twice out of the last seven days. Toss a coin to your game, Conomist. How's it going, Cephalopod God? Mega Potions. I would recommend Dragon's Dogma as a secondary game. Maybe we should play like some Souls or something, some uh, Dark Souls or, or, or something like that. I ahead of getting ready for Elden Rings. Elden Ring. But I don't know. I don't know if there's much of an audience for uh, Dark Souls. It's such an old game at this point. Everyone's already seen it. So maybe a fresh new game. Grab an item. Oh, wait. Let's grab Safajiba. Here we go. That's a little bit louder than I want it to be, this background music. 
Hey, Game Economist, I'm playing Monster Hunter for you right now. Nice, man. Did you know that having Wormstake Blast in the Gunlands gives more damage to shelling? What? So you're saying if you just don't even apply it, you just do more damage? That's interesting. It super does. I love dumb stuff like that. I did a playthrough just like Bogun Gun Melee. <laughs> don't do it, Safi. Safi poopy. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Safajiva. I dodge it? I did not dodge it, in fact. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Woo! So the problem I see with this build is I find myself healing a lot, and I don't actually like that. God damn it, I was trying to roll through that. I saw the attack incoming, and I was holding on to my next move. Damn, dude. Yeah, man, this is a tough fight to uh, have his aggro, really. So Switch Axe, especially, Switch Axe does not do well holding his aggro. Maybe we can mount him. Left foreleg broken, so we need to go for the right foreleg. We're KO'd. Make sure that you don't get Power File and Elemental File mixed up on the Switch Axe. What do we have? We have Power File. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think this character does too well when you have the aggro. Character, I mean weapon. <laughs> God damn! I never dodged that. Just gonna run through all my max potions. It goes. God, I never timed the dodge right. It's too hard. Man, we need a solution to that, guys. What do you think? When it comes to that ring, what do you think the solution is? Do you just have to learn the timing of the explosion of the ring? Because your other option is just... Oh, right foreleg broken. Both forelegs are broken? I think what I'll go for next is... I would say the tail, but I don't think... I don't think we're well equipped for taking the tail down. Yeah, that's really annoying, I notice. His ring attack is so powerful now. I get hit by it, like, I want to say 80% of the time, I get hit by that damn ring attack, and it feels kind of cheap, to be honest. I'm going to go for his head. TGC, you heard rumors of a Demon Souls remake for PS5? Uh, I've not heard rumors of that, no. He still hits me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Still alive. Yeah, we're healing way too much. This this not only is very expensive, but it's very time consuming to have to heal this much. Meaning, it looks like I'm dealing lots of damage until you consider all the downtime I have for all these heals. It's quite a lot of downtime. Oh, that didn't work. Still going for the head? Maybe we'll go for the tail. He's aggroed to somebody else, right? I tried the tail with the switch axe. Didn't end well. Yeah, I don't really feel like you reach the tail very easily is the problem. I'm healing. I don't think I'm enjoying this Safajiva setup. So like, maybe we're doing slightly more damage, but especially for this weapon, it just, oh man, I'm dead. Especially, that, that wasn't 
That wasn't the build's fault, I just happened to mount him and use a mounting attack just as he went into the animation for that move. So that was just unfortunate. But yeah, I just, uh, I feel like the switch axe is already kind of tricky to use, harder to dodge with. And then you're just stacking, let's grab this, you're just stacking that on top of the fact that you're taking damage every time you swing and you can't be interrupted from that damage chain or you're going to not heal it. So yeah, it might be high damage, but unless you can keep the monster staggered the whole time, I'm not really enjoying it in this fight so far, if I'm being honest. Let's go ahead and refresh our items. Look at our items. We w went through a bunch of uh, max potions and we've gone through four mega potions and one dust of life. And that's just in one round of the fight. That's not a good feeling. You could just say, good, get good, like maybe I just need to play better, but I've, I'm comparing it to other weapons I could be using, and I don't think they would choose to through quite as much heals. In fact, I, I'm going to just switch up right now. Let's play the, um, let's play the greatsword. Here we go. So this is Safi's Shatter Splitter. We set this up earlier, and I think this is going to do much better. We can tackle through the ring. Right, so when he uses the ring, we could tackle through it. We could probably even try to guard through it. I don't know. I don't know if it requires guard up, but I don't think it does. So this weapon actually has two different ways of dealing with his ring attack. His ring attack's ridiculous. Look, he just used it. It looks like most of the team got hit by it. Help him out here. Yeah, it looks like most of the team got hit by it. Let's go for the tail. And that's another thing. The great sword's actually good for going after the tail. Like it can do it. It's got the great vertical reach that you need to uh, slice up into that tail. <laughs> Let's see if we hit this foot. Alright, he's coming down with this beam. Yeah, the Safa set forces you to play clean. Oops. Clean, except if it's elemental bowguns, since you can't really miss with them. Yeah, exactly. So the elemental bowguns are going to play really well with the Safa Jiva set, because you're just going to chill back, and you're going to shoot him with elemental ammo, and most of the time you're going to be able to get a combo with your elemental ammo before being interrupted. and, and you'll, So it'll work really well with them. Uh, but the switch axe in particular, it's like the switch axe it has that limited mobility and it's, it's really bad for defense, right? Even the longsword, which has no form of guarding, it's, it's got like all these special iframes, right? So we're talking about the longsword here. The longsword has all these special iframes. Shoop. Nice. He's going to get me with the roar, unfortunately. Uh, the longsword has iframes. The dual blades have low commitment and a pretty pretty fast dodge, right? The Let's name another one. Sword and shield actually can uh, guard if it really wanted to. So sword and shield has a way to guard. We already mentioned that the greatsword has a tackle. What other slash weapons are there? Uh, charge blade has a shield, obviously. Charge blade's a little special. It's not like a true sever weapon, but it actually does quite a lot of sever damage, so you have to count charge blade. It's like a mixed file and... Ah, oh, I can't believe that missed. Ah, oh, that missed too! It only missed by a little bit. That's so sad. I tried to snap his tail there too. <laughs> But yeah, Switch Axe, I think, is still in a tough spot. I don't exactly know what the Switch Axe is supposed to be better at than the other weapons. It uh, is, is feeling kind of... Um, killing fi uh, feeling kind of like it's lacking a niche. We're going to hit his... Nah, we're not. Stop moving! You usually get one large Dracolite up to six awake, six, wait a second, one large Dracolite up to awakening six and two from seven on, so it's a net gain of two Dracolites if you get seven stars worth one enchant only. What did he just say? He just said a ton of stuff. You usually get one large Dracolite up to awakening six. What are you even talking about right now, man? Ah, oh, we grabbed onto the tail, but it looks like we got knocked back off. Although, did we take damage? So weird, it looked like we didn't take damage. 
Switch Axe is best at damage. Is it though? Switch Axe, I don't think Switch Axe actually gets a lot of world records for uh, speedrunning, does it? I could be wrong about that. Now we got not one, la one last little swipe at his tail. Not bad. I kind of want to try Charge Blade again. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, maybe if they up the damage on Switch Axe, that would be a good idea. Like, if they actually upped it so that... It out, it definitely out damaged like the great sword and the long the long sword. That would make a lot of sense because it's kind of in the same weapon range as those two two weapons, except both of them have better like strategies for dealing with incoming attacks. Right? God damn it! We did soften it though. We did our job. Let's back up here. I don't want to be tremored. God, that hit me? I was underneath them! I think I hit his, his booty hole, not his tail. He's after one of our teammates! Alright, Twitch, you hold his aggro. Pranish and I will cut the tail. I'm not even going to bother with the chest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the tail. God damn, dude. He's really annoying how he moves so much. I should make a guide on breaking every one of Safajiva's parts. That's what I should do. I think for the tail, we can all agree that the greatsword is probably the best method. Come on, hold still. Oh. Move over here. I think I hit his booty hole, not his tail. Yeah, Safi can be annoying. He is annoying. When you first fight him, you're just happy to kill him at all. But then, like, as you fight him more and more, you realize how annoying he is. His ring attack. All of his wind pressure, tremors. Oh my god, that ring attack is so stupid. Being able to judge when it's going to actually activate is harder than judging a roar. Like roars, you get visual cues on when, when it's going to activate. You do not even get that good of a visual cue with the actual ring. It's ridiculous. Longsword is decent for tail too. Come on, man. Twitch, Twitch, just just go for his head, Twitch. Twitch, you're not going for his head, and this is causing him to constantly move, so we can't focus on his tail. So if you've got the aggro and you got two greatsword players going for the tail, just stand in front of his head. You're actually causing him to rotate, and that's causing us to miss true charge slash. So you don't want us to do that. You want us to land those. You can damage the head. It's not a big deal. You can probably break his head at least one, once if you focus on it long enough. Alright, I had to go for it in case he turned really fast. Yeah, Twitch, go for his head. You're causing him to rotate. Oh, come on, man. Twitch is like, nah, I'm gonna go all over his body. He's out of here. We didn't get the tail cut. That sucks. Yeah, oh well. How's it going? Extree mental ness? What? Extree. Extreme tallness. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I need to go to college for reading these names. Cool, I might become a member. Nice, man. Hey, guys, I'm LA. How's it going, Dodagama? We started 30 minutes ago. Wow, not even dodging the ring. Do you think PC and console would be more in sync when the DLC is released? Uh, they will eventually, like they did before. I mean, that's how they did the base game. Eventually, the PC and the consoles were caught up to each other, and then they announced, oh, by the way, we're releasing Iceborne on the PC, like, half a year later. And everyone went, boo! You can cut Safajiva's tail with dual blades, but you go... But you got to wail on it for the whole quest. Managed to cut it off and carve it before Safajiva retreated. Hmm. Maybe tonight we should also be focusing on the best light bow gun to build for fighting Safajiva. Because I feel like Safajiva is really weak to elemental damage. What do you guys think is the best light bow gun for fighting Safajiva? Maybe we can actually look this up. Tell you guys what, why don't I start up the next round, and then I'm going to go do a little research while we're actually live. Safajiva Siege, begin the siege. So this next round, I'll be focusing exclusively on Safajiva's tail to try and get the tail cut before, you know, before we finish killing him. All right, I'm on iceborne.sycan.io. I'm going to go to weapons. Maybe it's weapons. I can't remember how I normally sort this. Really enjoy this website. Light bowgun, runners. No, we don't want that. By quest, then, maybe. And also, here, let's go ahead and eat. Yay, somebody used a voucher. We're going to have our safeguard. Help the team out. The Red Dragon, that's the name of this. Let's look up Red Dragon. There it is, Red Dragon. The Red Dragon. The fastest run against Safajiva is actually with the Light Bowgun. In fact, the top four runs were done with the light bow gun, the fifth run was done with the bow, and the sixth run was done with the heavy bow gun. So it looks like it looks like ranged weapons actually do really well here. And let's see what he was using. Uh, here is an American player. We'll take a look at his setup. Oh, was it an American player? Make sure I have this site muted. Okay, it is muted. What is he using? He's got Safajiva's Aqua Shot. Interesting. Crit Eye, Water Attack, Resentment, Free Element, Ammo Up, Health Boost, Blight Resist, Crit Boost, Divine Blessing, Max Might, Attack Boost. Alright, and he's gone with... He's gone with Crit Element... And then three pieces of the Safajiva set. Interesting. And how did he augment? He went for Reload Assist, Elemental Capacity 3, and then three levels of attack increase. See? Man. Terrific website. Hey! Somebody became a member. Can we get some shuckles in the chat for Extreme Tallness 101? Thanks for joining, man. I really appreciate that. Speaking of which... Snack fun looks weird with the... There we go. Alright. So, it sounds like if we really want to farm up Safajiva, what we need to do is we need to pick up a light bow gun. So, we will do... We will try to do two weapons tonight. We should do a light bow gun, but we should also focus on a charge blade like we initially said we would. In fact, one of the things we can do is take a look at the best charge blade for farming Safajiva and build that one in particular so that we can use it on Safajiva. I think that would be a good idea. So maybe we'll try to maybe we'll try to knock out two weapons. The other thing I was thinking about is since you do actually you do actually awaken the weapons when you're using them in the Safajiva fight, maybe we shouldn't be using weapons that are already maxed out. Maybe we should be working on or maybe we should be using the weapons that we want to max out. You see what I'm saying? So I think we might try to do that soon. 
I want to be a member if I had extra money. Oh, no problem, Dodogama. Dodogama, if you like the Pokemon card channel, maybe you should be saving your money to buy a pack of cards instead. You might enjoy that more anyways. There are other people who like Shuckle. That's right, Goldie. Shuckle's uh, my favorite cute Pokemon. It's my favorite one. And then, uh, you know, if you want to talk about more like competitive, I like usually Ghost and Psychic and Dark type, and I like Tyranitar a lot. What are all Sofajivas better anyways? RF water is best on him with Aqua Shot. What? What? Let's grab our temporal mental. Rarity 12 Gay Bulg exists. That's right. When you meld Sofajiva weapons, you get one large Dracolite up to six stars awakening. But if you pick weapons with four or five stars and enchant them to seven, you get two large Dracolites on melding. Okay, so he's talking about the Elder Melder here. Let's try and interpret what he's saying here. When you meld Sofajiva weapons, you get one large Dracolite up to six stars awakening. But if you pick weapons with four to five stars and enchant them to seven, and enchant them to seven. What? You get two large Dracolites on melding. So I don't know what you mean by enchanting. We need more emotes. That's true, Chatswood. Scrafty is my favorite Pokemon. I know Scrafty, is, he's got like his pants down. That guy's funny. He's like holding up his pants. Although, he kind of he kind of uh, reminds me of a trend in Pokemon where they, they really start focusing on humanoid Pokemon. Not such a big fan of that trend. They really went bad with it for the uh, Sword and Shield. To me, it says that they're out of ideas, but then I also consider maybe there's just not that many. Have you considered, like, for since they were basing their game off of the UK, maybe they just kind of ran out of animals to rip off of, you know what I mean? I was doing a little bit of research, like, how they design their Pokemon and stuff like that. I found out there's one guy designing Pokemon for, for, uh, for Pokemon who made, like, Buzzwool, and he made Vanilla, and he basically made all the Pokemon who I think look stupid. So, it, it didn't occur to me, but yeah, they've just got somebody working on the game who just has a different taste in Pokemon than I do, I guess. And he's the one making a lot of the dumb Pokemon, first of all. But the second thing I realized is the original Gen 1 Pokemon were based on, like, basically dinosaurs, right? So that's why a lot of... When you look at the Gen 1 Pokemon, they do kind of look uh, maybe a little prehistoric, right? They look old. Uh, they look uh, like... They don't look like they were just ripped out of the real world. We have all of our animals in the real world, right? But a lot of the newer Pokemon are based on real world animals. And I think that's maybe another reason why they've lost a little bit of their charm. They've got a lot of inanimate object Pokemon now, and they've got a lot of humanoid Pokemon, and I think people are right to complain about the design of Pokemon these days. I wish they would go back to actually designing them a little bit around, like, you know, dinosaurs. I think that was a good strategy. And they could have kept going with it. Every ability has a star level. Example, Affinity 4 is 4 stars. So if you get the... If you then get a 3 star set bonus as a second ability, the total is 7 and you gain 2 net Dracolite. So I think you're talking about taking weapons and converting them into Dracolite. That's what it sounds like you're talking about. And I think what you're saying is that certain valuable... Uh, certain valuable... Awakenings on the weapon are giving you more Dracolite when you meld them? Is that what you're saying? I think that's what you're saying. Dude. Nice. Cubone is a dinosaur. Pikachu is a Pika rodent. Some dumb looking Pokemon has cool backstory, like Garbodor. Uh, you know, Garbodor, he, he, um, he's definitely, I've, I've definitely improved my opinion of him. When he first came out, I was like, that's really stupid. But over time, he's okay. Uh, you know, and, and I think it just takes a little bit getting used to some of them. But some other ones I really just don't like. And I don't think I ever war will. Like, Buzzwool is so dumb looking, dude. Ferramosa? Why, they, why did they invent these human looking Pokemon? It's so annoying. I actually never did like Gardevoir either. Gardevoir was added. That was a that's an older Pokemon. Yeah, there's so many human-like Pokemon. It's, it's actually rather annoying. God damn, dude. Also, why do we have three people? People keep lagging out of the match? Is that what's going on? 
We've got Twitch and Pranish. Pranish. Let's run back here. I think our fourth got lagged out. Terran says, I lagged out of the session, man. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. Complete farming guide in your Discord messages. Oh, nice. Thank you, Wallet Skeevil. Game economist, we need a Pokemon catching guide. <laughs> Go ahead and drink up this mega potion. <laughs> Gardevoir and Lopunny are furry bait. God damn, dude. I'm I'm dead. Whoa, still alive somehow. That explosion was gnarly Kuga. Uh, maybe I should not focus on his tail so that Pranish and Twitch can. There is a damage check where he will do his ultimate two times if you do not deal enough damage. Terran says I was your fourth. Oh, well that explains it. That sucks, man. Is he knocked over? Nah, he's just hurt. Oh, here comes a ring attack. Oh, 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 oh. The reason the ring attack has gotten more difficult is because it's actually much harder to tell the outside edge of the ring now. It's like they didn't want you to understand it so well. They're like, now it's difficult. Definitely going to beat Stygian later on today so I can fight Safishiva. Stygian is an ogre? Huh, I think that I got knocked off of him, but without taking much damage. Can you actually avoid the ring attack by just grabbing onto him, maybe? Also, should we be knocking him out of the sky when he goes to use this beam? I feel like we should be trying. Let's put on the flash pod. I don't really use my ammo, my flash, er, my pods for anything else. Why did they only do 200? God damn it. Right hind leg broken? I think that's one we hadn't done yet. Bottom level energy absorbed. Good job, guys. Shut up. Woo! Bet those cracks can shield us. One. Oh man. Ah, oh, wouldn't it been crazy if he swung his tail into that? Nice, we landed it. Oh! Don't do it! Man, 400 damage now. Nice! We actually got that. We dealt a thousand to his tail, too. That was a lot. Plus the 600 from the blast. Is this it? No, it's not. Okay. So next time he does the ring attack, I'm going to try and grab onto him and see if that allows... Oh, good job. There goes the tails down! Um, what should we go for next? I'm guessing this does not protect me from head attacks. Nope, he didn't fall out of the sky there. So I think part of the reason why he didn't fall out of the sky though is because I wasn't fast enough. I was on his head, so...
With his tail broken, I think I'll go for his head until his chest lights up, and then I'll go for his chest. Because his chest, when you hit it enough, he gets knocked over anyways. You did it! Would be nice to save a mount for when he goes super critical, wouldn't it? But we're gonna go for it. <laughs> All right, he's down. Get that for you, Pranish. All right, he's gonna deal some extra damage to the head now. What if his bonus damage? Oh no! God damn, dude! All right, let's go ahead and put on our temporal mantle now. So when he lights up, we're going for the chest, guys. All right, we're going for the chest right now. In fact. Are we all wearing temporals right now? <laughs> no, I don't think we are. I think I, <laughs> I'm wearing a temporal. Damn. Tremors. So if he misses you with the move, you still get tremored. Dang, dude. It's after one of our teammates. Ah, no, Pranish. No, we need your damage. Alright, he's down. Let's go for that chest. Alright, we just fell into white sharpness, too. Ah, oh, we got shoved into, like, his arm by his other arm. There he goes. He falls right out of the sky. So I feel like if you are not dropping him out of the sky on his ult, then you're missing out on a knockdown. Look, he stays super critical, too. Look at that. So now he's going to be super critical longer. All right, now he's going to jump up in the air. Yeah, so he takes a little pause from being... Uh, he takes a little pause from using his ult, and that means he stays in the super critical state a little bit longer, which means more damage for you in the super critical state. This is a ledge. We could try to get him out here, guys. <sighs> I can't... I honestly can't tell. I can't tell where one line ends and the other begins. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we missed. If I could get a mount on him in the critical state, that would be nice. Hit me there, Pranish. He's good. I don't know what I hit. Ah, not his chest. Here goes. I still got hit. What did, what did I get hit by? I thought I was uh, totally avoiding the second ring. Dude, that move is so ridiculous. Oh, no. Come on, man. I dived it. Just barely dived it, too.
Can't tell if I hit his chest. Chest broken. Nice job, guys. Let's go for the head now. I don't think we're going to get the third swing off, are we? No. That would have been too easy, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to stay down. Whee! Oh, no. Now he's after me. Oh, oh, that only interrupted him this time. No knockdown. So you get one knockdown, and then the second time you can only slightly interrupt it to give your teammates more time. Uh, but then he probably needs more time before it'll be a knockdown again. So with the flash, with the flash pods, you get one knockdown on it. And then the second time, I'd probably cool it. I'd probably wait much longer before using it again. God damn it. He's dead. Nice job, everyone. <laughs> That was a PP hit, Game Economist. Should have rolled. Oh, he already answered. My god, why the video quality is so low here, even in 1080p? What are you talking about? It says, according to my my screen, it's getting very good connection. Is this a live stream or a replay? Oh, it's definitely a replay. We always get somebody who comes in, and they're like, asking if it's live. <laughs> Zeno came back from the dead. That's right. Any tips, says Rode. Uh, here's a tip. Um, finish school. Get a job. No, I'm just kidding. It is a premier good group you've got there. Well, yeah, everyone focused on the body part together. So that was good. Actually, it's kind of interesting. It would be better to have a group that focuses on the part together with you than it would be to have four players... Let me rephrase that. It would be better to have a group of three that focuses on parts together than it would be to have a group of four who doesn't like communicate and work together because the problem with with, uh, with the four players, they'll actually kill Safajiva too quickly and not get the breaks, right? Because you can like focus on a body part of his that's already broken and then if you deal enough damage, he dies. So you don't get a chance to break all of his body parts. So yeah, having your team focus on the correct parts at the right time is a big part of it. Bershogun says, are you an Xbox? An Xbox? What? For your question, Blast Charge Blade is best for stages 1 and 2. Savage Axe because he takes reduced explosive damage. Stage 3 Dragon Charge Blade on his arms and chest in Super Critical. Huh. Interesting. Are you planning a stream for the new Horizon Quest Firebreak? Banuk said, three more focus and the bow. Right, so I still have to get that done. Um, I guess it hasn't been a high priority for me because only PlayStation players can play with the Horizon Zero Dawn equipment. So it hasn't been like a super high priority for me. Uh, but we'll probably touch that eventually, pretty soon. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and collect our rewards. Safajiva Siege. Oh, look at this. We got five. Damn, dude. Rigid. Nice. And we still only get to pick four. That's okay. Take Aquafang. We'll take Shatter Spear. We'll take Frost Claws. And we got one remaining, but I'm not going to collect anything because I own everything else. Okay. So, according to the game... Not according to the game, I'm sorry. According to the speedrunners, the fastest setup is with light bow guns. I say what we do is we take this aqua shot, start working on it. Category light bow gun. Sticks. Safi's Aqua Shot. So we're going to take that real fast. For the charm, we'll take the Awakening Charm, huh? Okay, we got the Awakening Charm. Glider Mantle and Temporal Mantle. Uh, I'll just leave Rock Steady Mantle on. And then for the setup, we want Rhyme Guard Helm. 
So this is a really decent Safajiva build you guys are going to get to see. This is based off of the fastest speedrun currently on this speedrunning website. Rhyme Guard Coil. And it's been, uh, I've, I've been keeping an eye on this website because I actually really like that they organize the speedruns. Speedrunners really, they learn so much about the game and they share with each other and they learn from each other. And so there's a lot to learn from them as well. Crested Chest. This is beta, right? Yeah, beta. Van Braces. That's Kaiser Van Braces. We want Safajiva. Here is Safajiva Van Braces and Safajiva Boots. Yep, here is Safi Boots. All right, let's see what we got. This is what we're looking like so far. Oh, he's going to use those large water decorations, and I don't have those. I can already feel it. Take these off real fast. Here's another note. On his build, he doesn't actually build for uh, Part Breaker, which I definitely am going to build for Part Breaker because he's just trying to finish the fight as quickly as possible, but I'm actually farming for Safajiva uh, rewards. So we're going to go straight over to Part Break. We're going to choose Destroyer Vitality. All right, so that gives us health boost and destroyer vitality. And now, at this point, we're going to be building... He builds resentment. Interesting. How are they getting all that resentment on? Resentment... How about... Crit-Eye and max Might is on the build as well. Let's start looking for Crit-Eye. Critical Eye. So we have Expert, Flight, Fortitude, Slider, Sprinter, Refresh, Refresh, Crisis, Jumping, Iron Wall, Guardian, Friendship, Gobbler, Fungiform, Nothing Useful. Hmm. Hmm. And we've got a bunch of medium decoration slots, so let's go for a Max Might in the medium decoration slots. So he builds three parts. Hmm. The problem we're running into a problem where we don't have enough room for oops, that's my eye. We don't have enough room for all the affinity that we want to bring. What can we do for resentment here? So the problem is we're trying to fit in more skills than he did. We want part breaker, and he didn't bring part breaker. Is this resentment? We do actually have one of these. That's really good. So we have resentment level two. We could take resentment medium decorations as well. So that's as far as our resentment goes. But now we're running into a different problem where we don't have any water attack. It makes me wonder what's more valuable, an extra shot of ammo or... Well, what's our affinity look like right now? 15%? Mm. We've got three shots of water. It would go down to two if we dropped Awakening Charm. Man. I would say we drop Resentment. That's why I would say, but resentment works so well in this case, but we don't have enough affinity. Expert. Expert. We need three more levels of expert, and we just don't have it. We are actually going to give up Rocksteady for the other mantle. We, we have to. We just don't have enough slots. So here's our glider mantle. Glider mantle comes back pretty fast and it holds two large decoration slots. So we're going to drop those. I think... What should we put there? Well, what did he put there? He put attack boost there, huh? Interesting. How's he fitting all these decorations in, man? So on his build, he only takes health boost 2. He takes max might 2. 
He does max resentment. Man, we're missing a bunch of crit eye. Well, we might as well start dropping the max might because it gives 10% and so does the crit eye. So now we have crit eye. But if we drop all the max might, that's not going to be good either. I don't understand where he's fitting it. Yeah, I don't get it. Where is he fitting this? If I had one more of those crit eye decorations, it would fit right here, actually. Which would bring us up to seven, but then we would still be missing, um... It will, should we finish off the... I don't know if it's worth finishing that off. Maybe we'll bring four to five. Bring four to five, I guess. Who cares? Unless we add protection. Did we have protection? No, we don't have protection. All right, so yeah, we'll bring four to five. Crit I six. I would really like Crit I seven. We also don't have all the resentment we need. No way, man. Where is he fitting all this? We drop this. Rhyme guard, soft chief of credit, da 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 da. Awakening charm, glider mantle, temporal mantle. Free element, resentment, water attack, crit eye. Did I do something wrong? Let's see. Crit boost, divine blessing. Man, he must just have way better decorations than me. He must be utilizing these decorations up here. These decoration slots up here. That's gotta be it. Because I don't see how else he's fitting. Oops, not parts. <laughs> Come on, man. Part breaker. But we've got to have part breaker on our setup, so we're taking part breaker. And I am going to drop this level of mighty because I'm not going to skip. I'm not going to skip any crit eye. It doesn't make sense to. All right, so we have crit eye seven now. And now the next problem is we have resentment four, but we actually want water attack to boost our damage. And the question is, what boosts our damage more, the resentment or the water damage? What is our affinity actually at? Our affinity is at 45%, which means it's at a meager... Oh, man, it's at a terrible level. We're going to put Max Might down here. Where is Max Might? Oh, here it is. Maintenance. I guess we could put in maintenance. Doesn't really make a big difference. These should be dropped. And uh, we'll trade this for water attack? Uh, awful. <laughs> this is a starving build right now, guys. This is definitely a starving build. Man, we don't even have True Shot. How did he get the 5 level? Is He's got to be using the giant decoration slots to be getting the water attack as well. Just doesn't make sense that he would get it any other way. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out later. I'll have to figure it out later. we got to keep the stream going. I'll jump back into the uh, comment section. How's it going, everyone? The multiplayer being so insane on crit element, at least in bows, is better than soft jiva. What? I tell you what, I'm going to use a, a an awakening or two on this, not a, awakening, a dracolite or two on this weapon. Try to get it going a little bit. Alright, we're going to go with upgrade equipment. And uh, let me check it. I want to see what how he's... Reload assist, elemental capacity, attack increase, attack increase. So we'll take an attack increase. We will take attack increase three.
He didn't go affinity increase, so we'll skip that for now. Oh man, that's affinity increase three though. I will go attack increase, who cares? Oh right, you know what? Safajiva's the the armor set's actually giving us some of the affinity that we need. That's what I'm that's what I'm missing here. Right, okay, so our affinity is gonna reach higher than fifty five. Uh, we could give it a... Let's give it an affinity increase for now, though. That's fine. Just for now. It's not going to be permanent on the build. And what's this? Ancient Divinity. No, he didn't have anything like this. We'll store this. We'll do one more roll. Let's see what we get on the last roll. I want to replace that defense increase. We don't need it. Well, okay. We'll give it the attack increase. increase five there we go all right we'll run with this for now that's fine but we do need reload assist and elemental capacity three those are the things we need on this light bow gun let's have a run using this setup now sorry for the long wait everyone i wanted to use the weapon that was strongest for fighting safajiva and it appears to be this aqua shot Go ahead and get a Safajiva, no, an Aqua Shot set going with the ammo. Pierce, Sticky, it's got Sticky 3, okay. So maybe a KO at some point if nobody else KOs him. Here's the water ammo, that's going to be key. No poison, it's got paralysis, it's got a sleep ammo, it's got recovery, what else does it have? Trank, Demon. Alright, so mostly it's just about the water ammo. That's what it's mostly about. And for water ammo, we want... I'm trying to remember, is the uh, flow fern? It's flow fern. Let's go ahead and update our radio menu for this setup. Give it whetstone. Water ammo. There we go. Nope, don't remove it from the list. <laughs> Read fan's comment. Fan says, bruh, elemental cap is so important. Seven shots of RP. That's a massive damage. Uh, fan, I'm not I'm not done upgrading this weapon. I'm just getting it sort of upgraded, and then we're moving out. Okay? So we'll come back. Elemental capacity gives you seven shots. We'll get it. We'll pick it up. I told you guys I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not done, guys. Oops. Let's rewatch that. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, we'll definitely pick up the elemental capacity. Don't worry. Maybe I should have kept going until we had it. Do you guys stay in that? Should have just kept going. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Worried about this build, but it's all tri trial and error. Well, I'm not worried about the build. The um, the light bogans have always been. The light bow gun elemental ammo we found out very early on with the release of Safajiva was really good. Your objective is to slay the Don't forget to add the moss to the light bow gun. Oops, too late. Let's have our safeguard. So we're playing with no mods, and we're playing without elemental capacity boost. That's okay. He'll probably die fast anyways. Let's get down there. Try out the resentment for water attack too, since elemental ammo scales 80% from elemental attack. Hmm. I think I agree with you, because we're only getting a, an attack boost from resentment. Let's go with the glider mantle. So we're getting three shots of this, huh? Oh, and the reason that he didn't need true spare shot or spare shot is because he had seven shots of the water ammo. That's why. That makes sense to me. Oh, that's going to kill me. Oh, that's going to kill me right away. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. It stopped healing in the middle of uh, regenerating my health because I sheathed it. I think it did. Where did you get the build from? Oh, I'm looking. I looked at a speedrunner setup with this bowgun. He was done with a lot of things with this bowgun, though. He was done augmenting it. He was done upgrading it. And he wasn't building part breaker because he doesn't care about breaking parts on Safajiva. He only cared about going fast and killing him fast. Time to get Safajiva wet, pretty much. <laughs> I don't want to be tremored. Oh man, I can't wait to finish upgrading this. This is going to do so much damage when it's fully upgraded. Left hind leg broken. Okay, so we don't want to target the left hind leg anymore. That is the left hind leg. I'm going for the wrong hind leg right after I said, <laughs> right after I mentioned which hind leg to go for. God. Somehow he still moves his tail so much that I can't really hit it. <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and heal. I'm already like half health. So I just pumped about ruining Safjiva for the next three days. Three next two days. Trick will be finding a group to follow my strategy. Well, honestly, if the fastest speed runs are being performed with, with the uh, light bowgun, then your strategy should just be to get four people using the light bowgun, if I'm not mistaken. You can do damage to the da tail and then have somebody use like a boomerang on it even if you need to cut the tail. My Insect Glaive Kinsect out dps this. Well, keep in mind this isn't fully upgraded, and we do need to trade the uh, Resentment out for water water damage. Yeah, he was right about that. We shouldn't be taking attack before we boost our, our elemental. Extreme Tallness, I don't know how you're supposed to tell how good it is when the setup is bare bones. Nice. Usually he does stream every day, but the stream usually starts earlier. Does it? I have a pretty crazy live stream schedule. All right, we'll just go ahead and grab that again. I'm done recording all weapon moveset on for you. The bow's just boomerang. What? The almighty boomerang. That's right. Flick a slicing ammo. That's right. <laughs> Let's get a slicing ammo going. Put this on real fast. Oh, we had the same idea. Oh, interesting. Why did I knock him off and not the other way around? Alright, now that's the right hind leg, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, we got a hammer plane going for the right hind leg. That makes sense. Yeah, interesting. I saw Safajiva hit Kozu Pain with a stomp, and Kozu Pain did not get tremored, and it's making me wonder if Kozu Pain took tremor resist. Oh, I should have rolled that. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Coaster Pain's gonna mount in a minute. 
There goes. Oh no. Poor Softy Poopy. There you go, Softy Poopy. Have some water ammo. Shoot him in the face a few times. <laughs> Alright. That's broken, but guess what? Glider Mantle's back. So you just kind of trade off between them. That's why you see a lot of experts using the Glider Mantle, just because... So you get to hold two giant decoration slots in the Glider Mantle, and it trades off with the Temporal Mantle very quickly. Alright, we can knock this guy out of the sky when he uses that. Let's have our Flash Pod ready to go. Second level energy absorbed. Jesus. Back broken. Oh, another group met that objective. I was like, who's breaking Sofajiva's back? He's standing up. Did we break his hind leg yet? His other hind leg. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Did I just flash him? I did. Oh, I suck. I thought I had my weapon drawn. Well, no knocking him out of the sky now. He'll only be interrupted when I, we flash him in the sky. That's the right leg, right? Yeah, that's the right leg. Get him, Grifted. Gifted. You guys hear some Minecraft music? I'm playing some Minecraft music. Ooh. Right hind leg broken. So both the hind legs are broken. This means we focus on the head and the, the forearms. I don't really know what to do about the wing breaks. You know, uh, sticky ammo can go for the wings, and normal ammo can go for the wings. Oh man, I gotta run really far away. <laughs> Whee! This DPS is so sad. What are you talking about? This DPS is actually really respectable. Go ahead and soften the head for Kozu. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh cool, okay, so the ring attack doesn't reach all the way out at the beginning. Darian says, I see single digits. Yeah, so occasionally what'll happen is the... You guys you guys have to understand how the elemental ammo is working. Occasionally the elemental ammo will travel through his body part to his chest. And the chest has such bad hit zones that you will see single digits on the chest. But the chest doesn't get good hit zones for any weapon. It's just the case that the elemental ammo will occasionally travel to the chest. But the original landing point for the elemental ammo, usually like an arm, a leg, or his head, is hitting, you know, like 38 and whatever else is hitting for as well. Prox multiple times because it's rapid fire. So you guys are misjudging it. It's actually doing decent damage. You can go wings back with water ammo if you aim at the limb part of the wing instead of the membrane and angling it to also hit the back. I don't know if it gets good, uh, I'm not sure if it gets good damage on the back, does it? Let's test real fast. Yeah, I don't know about that damage output on the back. 
Similarly, the wings... Although, god damn, I tried to roll through the explosion. It's so hard to roll through the explosion. Although the wings will actually give good hit zones if you land it in the membrane... Or not the membrane, the, uh, the bone part of the wing. The problem is, it doesn't proc multiple times. Yeah, there we go. So that that's actually decent, but you'll notice it doesn't really have that much to travel through. So you're talking about just hitting it once, basically. Do you mean to have kids with that aim? Do you mean to haste kids? Joking, love you, dude. This is the fifth time I've started this. Elemental ammo doesn't do part break damage on the tail. Interesting. Elemental ammo doesn't do part break damage on the tail. Huh. How do you confirm this, though? Command War 99, do you have a way to confirm that? Other than the fact that, obviously, you can't cut the tail with elemental ammo, but that's different from not doing part break damage. I'm gonna aim for the chest, by the way, guys. What awakens do you need for Aqua Shot? Elemental Capacity 3, Reload Assist, and 3 Attack Boost, according to the speedrunner who I saw using it. Let's get behind cover. Four player speedruns are running... Oh, am I on the right side of this? Yeah, I am. They're running... HZD special ammo to break the wings of back in stage one, then aqua shot for the rest of the body. Oh, interesting. I assume though, because not everyone can use that weapon, I assume probably the best way to break it then would just be normal ammo, right? So I, I've I've used normal ammo on his wings, and it's pretty fast for breaking them, in my opinion. Oh, 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 got it. Saw that opportunity and took it. There we go, tail severed. So whoever said that the elemental ammo can't sever the tail. I would bet that I actually did a great deal of contribution toward the break damage, or toward the, yeah, I said that right, toward the break damage on his tail, right? Because obviously I was probably the primary person attacking the tail for most of the fight. So I, I did see another guy attacking the tail as well, but he didn't attack it as consistently as I did. So I think probably what you think, what was his name? It was like Command or something like that. It, the light bow gun's not capable of cutting the tail off, that is finishing the, the, uh, Finishing the tail break. Nice, I hit it again. It's not capable of doing that. However, it is capable of bringing the part break health of the tail down. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So maybe you're confusing it. Try to do a little wing damage there. What awaken should I get on the Safajiva Poison Hammer? Where do those actually land? Do you get hit if the rocks land on you? God damn, dude. Can we attack anywhere on the wing when he's in the crit state? No, not really. I mean, it does do damage. Right four leg broken. Nice. Did we just knock him over again with the uh, chest damage? I think we did. I think I might go for the wing because I got a lot of damage on this wing going. <laughs> I can never avoid that wind pressure. In the critical state, you actually can go for his wing with the elemental ammo, and it's not bad. God, it still hit me. <laughs> I 
Ah, darn it. Just gonna break that with this tail. It's hoping he like turn around. Nice job, Kozu. Kozu bringing him over. <laughs> so when he's in the super critical state, you can actually go for his wings pretty well with the elemental ammo, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think we flashed him early enough for that to work. Alright, so we're going to go back to focusing on his head now because he lost the uh, critical state. We need to soften the head. They're going to go for the uh, left arm because the other arm's already broken. Let's take this off real fast. It's hoping to roll through that. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Shoot him in the head, I guess. Re oh no, where are these rocks gonna fall? He moves so much. If you're far away with the elemental ammo, there's a fair chance he just moves the body part you were going to shoot at. There we go. Left foreleg is broken. So we have the head, the wings, and the chest to go for. Maybe we can get the chest next time he goes super critical. If we're lucky. Nice. Head partly broken. That's good. We might be able to get the complete head break if we're fast enough. He just got mounted. We're getting good damage on the head now, even if he's not in the super critical state. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. He's coming down in the super critical state. This is perfect. Look at this damage output, guys. Oh, right. I think we have to shoot him in the red in order to get the, good, the better hit zones, don't we? Oh, it's on the side of his head where his, his horn got broken. Oh, I was ready for him to use one of his big attacks. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Get some of that damage on his chest. Oh, I'm going to die. I really don't want to die because this is, this is where I need to be dealing lots of damage. I think that's the wing we're going after. How much time we got left? Oh, we're almost out of time, guys. Come on, we can do it. Oh, nope. What I meant by that is I can get hit by him. Oh, and he's out of here. That's too bad. All right. Don't start about old monsters coming to world. Monster Underworld is a whole new con continent and I want new monsters. TGC, you're going to need two aqua shots to make an elemental and sticky ammo builds. I think you're right on that, Zara, and I think I picked up a second one already. All right, we're gonna go pick up that. Look at that, awakening potential acquired. Safajiba's, excuse me, aqua shot. So by using it before it's upgraded, we get to store potential in the weapon. And that means the next time we go to do an upgrade is already gonna be stronger. So maybe that's a more efficient way to use Dracolite. If you guys think about it, is to kind of like use the weapon even when you don't have the optimal upgrades for it. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Because farming Dracolite is kind of a big deal, and, and part of how you spend the Dracolite could be uh, uh, an issue of uh, a part of the efficiency of how you're using it, right? Right, like what I'm saying is if you use the weapon while you're upgrading it, maybe you spend Dracolite more efficiently because you don't have to, like, you don't have to spend as much building potential yourself using the actual Dracolite. Use Sticky to get a knock time, knockdown if there is time to do so. True, I probably should have done that. Also, I probably should have done Paralysis and Sleep. I had both of those ammo types as well. So let's run down. We're going to run down and see if we can get either the 
reload or the elemental capacity. We're also going to put on our mods. We're missing our mods. All right, here we go. We're spending some more Dracolite. Uh, nope, we're just stored potential. So we already have one stored potential. And that's from using it in the previous fight. Now we're going to have two stored potential. God, man. Well, there's attack increase five. I'm just going to take it because we need it. <laughs> Can't skip it, right? Bowser use ambition. My booty. My booty to hootie. Just run sticky ammo. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. We probably could, actually. No, we're going to go for the elemental upgrade. Freak that. Let's go for the elemental upgrade. Okay, we're going to store that as well. Come on, man. Oh, uh, you're making us burn through all our stuff. Brachadillo's Essence. Well, we'll take the attack increase for We actually want that. So we're almost done with the attack upgrades. Ancient Divinity. Come on, man. These must be really valuable or something. We're using up all our Dracolite. I don't think we're going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to get to the, dra uh, the Charge Blade tonight. So probably what I'll end up doing is changing the title and the picture of this live stream. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I know we were going to do Charge Blade, but I reached a point where I was like, what's the fastest way to farm this guy? And that's probably something we should have done early on so that we do a better job farming him each time we're working on any of the weapons. Attack increase. Come on, man. Give me the elemental capacity. Attack increase 5. Yeah, we actually do want this, unfortunately. So I'm going to go for it. Dude, they're so stingy with handing this out. And there we go. We're out of rigid Dracolite, too. Deviation suppressor? No, we don't want freaking deviation. Fuck deviation. Stupid. Let's see. Glav oh, my God. We don't have enough to level it up. So you know what we're going to do now? We're going to go to the central area. We're going to test out some Elder Melder re-rolling. Is there any effective way to break the chest? Yes, do lots of damage to it and bring part breaker 3. How's it going, Joe? How's it going, Roderick? No charge blade. I was lied to. Yeah, no charge blade. Uh, it's because we ran out of Dracolite. Otherwise, I would have done charge blade tonight. Here, we're going to update the name of this to uh, Awakened Light Bowgun. And I'm going to save that. Let's open Photoshop. This might cause some lag on the live stream. I'm opening up Photoshop. Photoshop really eats up my CPU. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll get the light bow gun done this round, and we will do charge blade in the next round. Uh, but is, it makes doesn't it make sense to get the light bow gun done if the light bow gun's getting the world records on on speed running Safajiva? You want to pick it up and then use that to farm them more efficiently, right? That just makes sense. It makes sense to me, anyways. Let me delete this right here. All right. So with the Elder Melder reroll, how does this work? Awakened Alchemy. Sophijiva Alchemy. We got all these Sophijiva parts. Like Zionium Crystal. Which apparently we have 8 of. See, we have 80 of these. Sophijiva Shards. Oh, damn. You can run through these really fast. So that took 60 of them. What did we take? Frost Shot, Bind Buster, and Frost Shot again. Alright, and then when we go to Sealing Alchemy, let's sort by... Wish you could sort by duplicates. That would be even easier. Frost Shot. So we have Frost Shot, Aqua Shot, Frost Shot, and Frost Shot. So we have all three of them here, and there's no way you need more than two of them. So let's go ahead and... Use materials and 50 points to create one item. 
created a large Dracolite. Oh, there you go. So we got two large Dracolite. Huh. That seems like it would eat through your Sophageva weapons pretty fast, though. Hmm. Interesting. So let's update this. We're going to go with the light. Light bow gun tonight. I promised the charge blade, and I went back on my promise. How will you guys ever trust me again? You'll have to call me Game Economist the Trickster. Okay, on that, we'll drop Shadow. Get a nice little thumbnail going for the uh, light bow gun. Oops, come on. All right, let's close Photoshop now. Jump over to the live stream. I'm gonna change the thumbnail. So we're doing it live, it's so fun doing it live. Change it to have the light bogan instead. And we'll save it. Yep, this has been a light bogan stream, hasn't it? My brother's playing Monster Hunter World. Can you play with him a day? Someday. Gambling. Yeah, we love gambling. Dodogama says, I got a Zionium crystal from the Plunder Blade. Nice, dude. Marco from the Tro Tropojo? Trapoge, he says a lot. What? I did not know you could do this for weapons. You can. Leechy is Queechy says, that's why you go for the essence first over other upgrades, though. C. Johnson says, only need two frost shots. Da -da -da. It's just the Kov Tarot of Iceborne. Safajiva only shows up during events. Need three frost shots. That's right. Roderick says, I love your videos. Thank you very much. Weasel says, I just started playing Iceborne. Which longsword would you recommend to get in order to help me progress through Master Rank? Finish the story with the bone uh, longsword. The bone longsword will do fine. When you finish the story, go back and farm up Safajiva and then get the Safajiva longsword. After you get the Safajiva, I'm sorry, not Safajiva, the, um, <laughs> I said Safajiva, the uh, Shara Ishvalda. There we go. The Shara Ishvalda longsword. Get that. After you get Shara Ishvalda longsword, at that point, you're going to grind in the guiding lands until you reach level 70. When you reach level 70 in the guiding, uh, when you reach level 70 master rank, you're going to go ahead and fight Gold Raytheon and pick up the Gold Raytheon longsword, okay? And then eventually you can fight Safajiva. If he's around before you get Gold Raytheon, just go straight to Safajiva and pick up the Safajiva longsword. Probably blast or poison, okay? So I hope that helps. Want to do a quest? Safajiva Siege. We were not able to pick up elemental capacity, so no seven shots for us. We can still pick up the mods. Let's get the mods done. Oh, so that's why he goes with reload assist. Because if you do that, you can bring you can bring all recoil. Let me show you. Can you? Yeah, here you go. You bring the water down to low on the recoil. It's interesting. Also, let's get rid of this resentment. We're going to trade this out for water damage. Which does, in fact, make sense. Do we have a water? No, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Yo, water attack. <laughs> We got three stream going. I got 57 large Dracolite left. Nice. Can any weapon be awakened? Any of the Safajiva weapons? Regan King says, Still haven't beat Safajiva once. It takes another level of dedication. It's not that bad. Which Safajiva Light Bowgun are you using? This is the Aqua Shot. Customized bowgun. We just did that. Will you be making more build videos soon? I'm interested in your new Safajiva build, uh, builds. I will. Yes, absolutely. Do we get Safajiva next again? Probably you'll have to wait a while. Yeah, you'll probably have to wait a while. What does recoil do? When you lower the recoil, your weapon shoots faster. Also, it's just easier to use because if the recoil gets really high, your character will be stuck in the uh, shooting animation. 
Johnson goes, reload is better for you right now since your ammo is so low. I think he might be right. <laughs> um, let's go with the... Um, so I'm thinking about what the other guy did. The other guy went probably full recoil, if I had to guess, because he actually used reload assist as one of his... Um, so we don't need... Hold on, we don't need any of those then. Let's use... Uh, oh, man. We could do evade reload times three, couldn't we? There we go. Evade reload times three. This is only because we're not done with this weapon, okay, guys? That's, that's the only reason we're going evade window. I'm sorry, evade reload. All those are already average. Let's take the power barrel then. Dual barrel roll. Let's go. I miss your epic Safi poison hammer build that would prop once, proc once or twice. I know, don't isn't it amazing? Do you like burgers? Uh, hamburgers are okay. I, d I don't like uh, the bread that comes with hamburgers so much. I, I find that bread is like a filler food. And if you ever ate bread by itself, it's actually really gross. So if you could take a hamburger bun, don't add mayonnaise to it, don't add meat to it, don't add anything to it, and you took a bite out of a plain hamburger bun, it's actually a really gross piece of food. So I kind of avoid that. Uh, but the meat itself is pretty good. Meat and veggies, yeah, that's pretty good. Pickles, I love pickles. Isn't there another festival in January? I believe so. The Space Festival. When you using the Great Sword? Uh, we just did at the beginning of the stream, so we've actually used the... We See, there's many weapons we don't use each stream, and Greatsword is lucky enough that it actually does get used. So yeah, we just used it. But we're, we're doing li Light Bowgun for now, because we're trying to get a really good Light Bowgun counter build for Safajiva going. Elemental 3 Awaken is really hard to get. RN Jesus. Nice, okay. Appreciation on a Terra Gathering Hub. I hope we get Safajiva in January. Again, kind of getting burned out of fighting him over and over. Yeah, we'll get him again. Uh, you know, he'll probably take a break for a month and then return in a month. It's probably exactly what will happen. What do you guys think? Temporal Glider Mantle first or Temporal Mantle first? I'm thinking of the Temporal Mantle first. Best way to get decorations? There's multiple ways to get decorations now, but... Uh, basically, you'll want to do purple tempered investigations, as well as if you get VIP joyful tickets during this seasonal event, you can trade those in at the Elder Melder. So there's there's like two ways now. That won't last though. That'll be temporary. Come on, man. God, he moves so damn much. And I thought we put on a. I guess we didn't do an. Oh right. We didn't do the reload mod, we did the evade evade reload, that's what we did. <laughs> so we don't need to cut the tail this time, everyone. We don't need to cut the tail, we need to go for, uh, what do we actually need to go for? Head break and wings break, actually. Wet time again. Will you be playing with the Switch Axe this stream? Uh, we did at the beginning of the stream already, so uh, probably not because it's already had a turn. Everyone. Is it possible to run Resentment and Health Augment with the Safajiva set bonus? Apparently not. Uh, fan said it, it, it doesn't work, it cancels the Resentment, and then I went to the training room and tested it, and I think he's right on that. So head, we need the final head break, we do need the chest break, and we need the wings break. No, None of his other parts matter right now, guys. We'll just see where this lands. Well, he broke them all anyways. No, he didn't. He didn't break them entirely. What just happened? Did he just hit a wall? So Gifted just grabbed the aggro. Now Gifted's in trouble. <laughs> We do need to break these wings. 
I'm tempted to actually just go grab a sticky build and break the wings that way because the head and the wings are such small targets. You know what I mean? Actually, I don't know if we broke the back either. There we go. There we go. You move so damn much, it's hard to get the shot that you want to take. Oh my god. Oh, I can't figure the rings out. They're so annoying. The freaking rings, dude. Twitch is trying to break the back. Are the Sophageeva bows worth it? Yes. All the Sophageeva weapons are basically an upgrade to the old weapons, with probably few exceptions. Does Power Barrel increase damage of elemental damage? I think I saw somebody using this in a speedrun, the Power Barrel. I don't know why he was doing it, actually. He probably has an explanation. Power Barrel doesn't. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody speedrunning with the Heavy Bogan and he was using it, so he must have some explanation for it. See you later, Danny. I'm going till he fall. You mean fail? Alright, wow, we've got an audience of 500 people watching at like... 2.45 a.m. in the morning? Man, you guys are up late. Maybe we're all up late. Alright, let's get this water ammo back out. Oh, right. I should have done the evade reload. Whee! Okay, he's in the super critical state. We're gonna go for his chest now. did it again. Good timing on that. Oh my god. I'm about to die. There we go. We're good. Man, I'm waiting for him to get knocked down. Where exactly should the uh, light bowman hit for the chest damage, I wonder? Because I'm going to come help out with this, actually. God, i got to stop. Left wing broken. Are the wings not worth as much? Oh, Sticky Ammo 3 has, like, the slow reload. Damn. <laughs> Gozu, no! I got knocked down too. Noah, thanks for the donation, Noah. Did you know, Noah, that was actually the first donation of the night? Damn, dude. Although, somebody did become a member. That's pretty cool, too. I'm not going to get close to that. God. Stop moving. Oh, he's going to... Interesting. I got you. Oh, Twitch is fine. 
Oh my god. Man, I actually find Safajiva annoying in some ways. I feel like he has too many moves that are really hard to dodge. And uh, I, I don't actually find... I, I like it when moves are powerful, but you can actually dodge them. When you just got a bunch of undodgeable moves, it's actually kind of annoying. I think that's one of the reasons why people don't like Lunastra, you know? Just got a bunch of undodgeable moves. Oh, do I have his aggro? Yeah, check that out. We, we got his aggro. We're doing some damage. Barrel like, you're not doing any damage. It's like, well, doing something. Right wing broken. The, the wings are down. All we got to do is... Oh my god, he's going to kill me. He did! Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh. <laughs> First, the clutch claw, the rope lift, next he's evade reloading, max might. What will the next gamer moment game economist make? What is he saying? Let's go ahead and be right here. Hey, game economist, try reload assist instead of evade reload when running max might. Oh, you're right, dude. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. It's because I haven't used Max Might in such a long time. How I deal with the Lupastra. I kill her before she gets annoying. There you go. Parts broken. Chest broken. The only thing we have left is the head, everyone. Go for the head. I'm saving money to buy more booster packs from Game Conquest. Does that count? <laughs> Shoot this guy in the head. I didn't even think about that, actually. Pair like, I can't donate anymore. I'm buying Pokemon cards. <laughs> Sophageeva Slade. Before we can get the double head break, but that's okay. We got both wings, both arms, both hind legs, the chest, and the tail. We got the pretty much the whole body. We were just shy of breaking every single part. It makes me curious. I, I don't think I've ever had a run where we use every... I don't think we've had a run where we've broken every single part on Safajiva, and I'm, I would love to know what that's like. Isa says, only use crowd control on Safajiva when he is in the critical state. That is a good tip. You should have gone for the head. That's right. Hey, look at that. We carved a, we carved a tail out of his head. That's cool, right? So let's see. Ten things you didn't know. Edit. I'm going to say, don't use Evade Reload with Max Might. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to say... What was the other thing I was going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say. Actually, you know what? I think people would find it interesting to know that Safajiva, all the top speed runs against Safajiva are with the Light Bowguns. like four out of five of them four out of the five top speed runs what else there was uh there was one other thing i was going to say oh somebody mentioned that the gun lance does more damage with its shelling when you haven't used the worm stake i'm going to look that up we're gonna have to test that real fast All right, the Siege of Safajiva complete. Nice. 
Let's pick up some more of this Dracolite and see if we can finish upgrading this Light Boga. I can tell teams are getting much better at this too. You guys are doing much better focusing on parts and, and not just wildly attacking them, you know. There was the, uh, I think we just picked up the Poison Charge Blade. So that's cool. Safi's Frostbuster. Jesse Herrera, I got to support because watching you made me a way better hunter. Thank you so much, Jesse. Here, let me update the snack fund. Oops. Oop, did I spell that right? <laughs> I'm so bad at names. It is E-E-A. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for giving me that donation. I do appreciate that. And uh, here's a fun thing. If you guys ever want to have like a Pokemon pop-up on the screen with a, a message from you, if you wanted to cause that to happen, you would use the Streamlabs link in the description of the live stream. I actually get more of the donation when you use Streamlabs. Did you know that? Let me show you an example of it real fast. So I don't know how many people we got that are brand new to my channel. How do you... Uh, Analytics widget. Oh, here it is. It's called the alert box, isn't it? Let me show you what that would look like. This is a test donation for dollars. See? And you get the little shuckle pop up. So you could do that alternatively if you want in the future. Thank you so much, man. Let's see. We got the Safi's Frostbuster, right? We need that. Oh. I don't know if I care though. I don't I don't think I care about elemental normal shelling is it's so niche to me we'll grab another frost shot look that one comes with attack increase that's actually a good starting point that one comes with attack increase four that's an even better starting point game economist it doesn't do less damage is always equal no matter what but when you break safajiva's skin you deal extra damage hmm it's always equal no matter what, but when you break Safajiva's skin, you deal extra damage. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You must we I must have said something that we were talking about earlier. One Great Sword mount and two Mega Barrel Bombs will break the back. One Great Sword attack with a good build. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well, first of all, before we do the change to the mods, let's see if we can actually pick up elemental capacity. That'd be nice. Whoop, that's the sauna. <laughs> Takes about 13 fold true charge slash hits to cut the tail in area 3 for me to solo cut the tail. Nice. That's quite a lot, actually. Alright, so we're looking for elemental capacity boost. Nope. Store potential. What would be a good set for the lance? The Lance always kind of runs the same set of Master's Touch, but I'm wondering actually if with the changes to the game with the Safajiva set being added, if you would run Safajiva set with it. I think you would actually. Yeah, I suspect you would. Safajiva set should benefit an elemental Lance. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you very much, Welk Skiva. <laughs> By the way, did you know I... I uh, oops, what just happened? What did I do? I stored potential, right? Okay, good. Did you know in the Pokemon card live stream that we had yesterday night, I got... Uh, somebody pulled a holographic Steelix, and I asked him to save it for you, and he agreed to. Yeah, he. we talked about it after the stream was over. <laughs> oh my god, next upgrade. Attack increase 6. Man, they do not want to give us elemental capacity boost. They really don't. Oh, we did it! Recoil suppressor! Okay, so there's recoil su No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, darn it. We actually wanted... It wasn't recoil suppressor we were after. It was uh, reload assist. That's what we were after, wasn't it? Damn it. Dude, this is going to eat all our Dracolite. I can't believe it. Oh no, this is eating all our Dracolite. Here goes, elemental capacity, there we go. We're going to trade that out with... Well, I tell you what, we'll trade it out with this attack increase too, since the affinity is kind of useful right now. 
Finally, holy snap, man. We still need the re uh, the reload assist is what we need now. Reload assist. Oh my god, that took forever. That took all our Dracolite. <sighs> Elemental capacity too. Very good. Holy snap, man. Store potential again. We got one more rigid Dracolite. Where's it going to take us? Deviation suppressor, go away. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to go through these too fast. I'm going to miss it. Oh, damn, dude. That's it for our Dracolite. We're out. All right, we got to get back to the grind then. Damn. Damn. So we're going to get rid of the Evade Reload, because as they were mentioning, that does not pair with Max Might. Yeah, we should fix that. That's a silly mistake. <laughs> Thank you so much, Smoky Bullet. Um, To get Chuckle to appear, you actually have to make a smaller donation, I think. I, I, the alert boxes are all set up all crazy. I think Shuckle might be like two bucks or less or something like that. I can't remember. I should probably make Shuckle like a higher amount. There's a whole bunch of Pokemon that you guys can get to pop up on the screen. It's all based on how much you donated. So we're going to go for Reload Assist. This brings water ammo, water ammo to normal. And we can't reach low recoil. So why don't we just keep going Reload Assist? Because we can't reach low recoil, but we can reach fast reload. I'm still going to put the power barrel on. Let's refresh our items too. Danger, high voltage, worm steak doesn't lower shelling damage. Err. Okay. Thank you for the tip, danger. I don't know who told us that. Somebody told us that early on in the stream, and I looked it up. I'm sorry, I didn't look it up, and I, I wrote it down to test it out, because uh, for ones I don't know about, I actually go and test them before I do the before I do the 10 things you didn't know videos. Well, Kiba donated a dollar. Yeah, you got the, um, that's David Larson's uh, whooper. David Larson asked for a dollar whooper. <laughs> what Pokemon appear? Uh, I have a whole bunch of them. I Actually, I've thought about, for people who like Pokemon a whole lot, and they like donating i've thought about offering them specific donation amounts <laughs> well excuse us like testing it he's like there's the shuckle i should do a uh, i should do a steelix for well excuse what do you think wow fed <laughs> yeah we'll get a steelix going or maybe a nonix or something your stream is so chill and interesting keep it up man thank you very much People are figuring out how to use the uh, <laughs> the Streamlabs to send a message now. My brother is still playing. Nice. Oh, my eyes itchy. Imagine having a bunch of cats and constantly having allergies. Well, it's Kiba donated four dollars. Damn. A busy chat also means loads of misinformation, says Fan. Yeah, I noticed that Fan. I, I get like tips quote tips but like sometimes it's just like bad information like the one guy said that shooting the monster in the tail with the elemental ammo does no part break damage and i'm like i read it out loud but then i'm like what evidence do you have for this if it's true it's true but i was like it doesn't seem true and then we cut the tail that round and i know for i'm i'm pretty confident Nobody else was really attacking the tail that much. There was like one other guy. And we cut the tail pretty early in stage 3. So that's making me think, no, I think my damage was contributing to the part break. It's just the case that it doesn't deal sever damage, so I can't cut the tail. Alright, let's get this head softened. So what do we have on our team? We've got... Okay, so mostly explosive damage, which means we can go after any body part. I think I actually like going after the tail with this weapon because I deal so much damage. Actually, since nobody's going to be cutting the tail, we should be going... Oh god, we should be going for the legs. Let's put on our temporal mantle. I could donate on Streamlabs, lol. No credit card. Don't take debit. Oh, interesting. 
Dave Ramsey, he tells you to cut up your your credit cards, right? So you're doing the smart thing. So let's see, we should probably focus on a, a body part together. I'm going to focus on both the fore, fore legs and the hind legs. Those are going to be my my primary target, I think. Because I don't think that the... I don't think that the gun lances are going to focus on the head. I think that would be a tough target for them. You know, move around too much. Let's get this max potion going again already. Oh, and apparently I did not eat it. Ooh. Ooh. Having five shots makes such a large difference. And it does make the spare shot pretty much obsolete, I'd say. We got the fast reload, that helps. Actually, I wonder if you had to have the uh, reload assist, or if you could have just gone recoil suppressor and just done a mix of one reload. Because you get... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So he's going for the back hind leg. Let's help him with that. I'm just going to copy his build because I trust he's done his research. The only way to get the... Oh, God. Oh. Oh my god, I never roll these correctly. <laughs> Look at him aim ahead. That's such a clever move. You gotta give them credit for that. It's a charged up beam, and he shoots... He shoots to where you're gonna be. Uh, I still didn't dodge it. Someday I'll dodge that wind pressure. Is wind pressure dodgeable? I'm pretty sure it's dodgeable, right? Super critical state reached. What? Somebody else already got him down to the next stage. It's because I spend so much time working on the builds during the live stream. That's why. Right hind leg broken. That's the one we were working on. We're going to move on to the next body part then. That was pretty fast. We broke that right away in this stage. I want so badly to dodge that. Alright, we'll soften the arm. Hmm, maybe us bowgun users should be exclusively focusing on his wings because in the second round it's not like the guys with the gun lances can help that much on the wings you know what i mean because they can help on the head but they can't really help on the wings whereas we can exclusively hit the wings with our long range moves oh that's charmer run if you get trimmed by the leg don't walk toward the leg because he, he almost always follows up with that next move right We dodged it. Oh, did we dodge that one? No, we got hit by the power, actually. The goddamn energy, the floor energy is just ridiculous. Not all debit works would work, though. Only one of my debit works similarly as credit cards because it has CVV numbers like normal credit. What are you guys talking about? Of course, the, the best way to make a donation is to just buy me Pokemon cards, so that's the best donation. <laughs> no, feeding the habit, right? <laughs> Hopefully we get some PSA returns on Monday. I'm excited. I, I really feel like it's about time for us to have a PSA return. Okay, so the foreleg is broken. I think that means we have a crisscross situation. We need the right foreleg and the left back leg. Pretty sure that's where we're at right now. So main thing about the elemental ammo is it can cross really easily, can't it? Oh, oof. There we go, we grabbed it before he shook us off. You did it! Is he under a boulder? No, he's not. 
Why would he be under a boulder? Look at that. We don't have to deal with so many of his moves because we're playing ranged. That's a huge advantage. I like how nobody really pays attention to that anymore, like trying to get him, get him under a boulder or anything. It's like too much work or something, you know what I mean? I tried to roll it. <laughs> Alright, we'll jump up here. Now, I think somebody told me as a tip, you can actually jump up here... And then if you use the wing drake, you actually get down there faster because you don't have to go through the animation. Yep, there you are. And are we here before our teammates are here? Let's see if we're here before our teammates are here. I think we are. I don't see them like flying down though. Oh, there's Twitch. Oops. I was looking for my teammates. I wasn't looking at what he was doing. Let's go ahead and have our max potion. <laughs> um, I feel that they're probably doing fine on the damage on those lower body parts. I'm going to start focusing on the wings in the back. I feel like that's what we should be doing. Darn, I rolled too early. That's what we should be doing if we want to do the most damage to help them. Twitch Tan Tanawa, he just grabbed the aggro. Yeah, we should be grabbing the um we should be grabbing the wings for our team, because I, I don't think I don't think they can help with the wings at all, except for when he gets down. in the head. Man, there was a lot of nasty news today. There was a Jewish family, I think, who got attacked during Hanukkah by a black man who was, like, stabbing him or something. He stabbed, like, five people. I saw that in the news today. I was like, what the freaking brick? And what else happened? There was a... Uh, somebody attempted to do a shooting in a church in Texas. He was trying to do a shooting in a church in Texas. But then he got shot by, like, a security guard, and, like, there were, like, three other Texans who pulled their guns out. They were all ready to shoot him. But it's like, Jesus. So with all these... It's like religious wars, except on a smaller scale. It's ridiculous. I don't know who the shooter was in that case. I don't know what his motive was, either. I don't know what the black guy's motive was for stabbing the, the Jewish... Uh, like, they had, like, their Hanukkah celebration or something like that. That was in New York, I think. Uh, and I heard a statistic. I think I heard that there were 13 anti-Semit... Uh, what's the word? Anti-Semitic. There we go. There were 13 anti-Semitic attacks in New York in just December. I was like, what? Jesus Christ, man. It's like, imagine being Jewish. <laughs> Got everyone with their grand conspiracies or whatever their reasoning for it is. Awful. Awful news, man. And then again, John Lewis, the politician, United States Senator, he uh, just hours ago announced that he has stage 4 pancreatic cancer, so he's not having a good time either. I do feel sorry for him. Whoa, did we break his foreleg while he was up in the air? Whoa, he, he did. Oh, where do you think you're going? Nice. So we successfully knocked him out of the sky. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. I wonder if we successfully canceled that. Do you think we did? Let's put on our purple gl glider mantle. Yeah, that's, some, that's a lot of depressing news, man. You gotta turn your TV off and stop listening to the news, because it'll depress you real fast. There's so much bad stuff that goes on.
I said at the very beginning of the stream, my wife and I were trying to buy her parents a... We're trying to downsize them to a much smaller home that will be easier for them to uh, pay for with taxes and insurance. They're, they're really struggling financially, and we've been helping them uh, because the mom's got uh, stage 4 cancer, and she's, she's back from her treatment, actually, and they say that the uh, cancer has gone or been treated properly or something. I don't understand how it all works. But she, they say she's in good condition. She's going to have to have checkups. But they're just out of money now. So we're helping them sell their home and moving them into a much smaller home. And we were going house shopping. And and we ran into the same issue we ran into when we went house shopping for our little condo where we live right after school. Uh, and it's the same deal. It's like you can live in a neighborhood where it's like 118 murders per 100,000 people. Or in a neighborhood where it's like 7 murders per 100,000 people. And it's like, it's a huge difference, and it makes you decide where you want to live really fast. You're like, well, I'm not living in the other area. Okay, so he doesn't fall on the second time. That's an interesting thing to note. You really have to, you gotta let him, like, recharge from all the flashes. Oh, wait, did he not use the move? <gasps> he didn't use the move. Oh, it does kind of work then. Tell you what, let's head back. We're out of ammo. My gun rack has a gun rack. He was a black Israelite or an Islamist. Huh. Oh, you mean like, isn't there like some sort of black Hebrew movement or something? Black Nazi. <laughs> Do those exist? I don't think those exist. My brother plays on PlayStation 4. He plays Xbox. I am from Israel, and it is so sad about the family. I know, right? Apparently, apparently, I don't know if you guys follow this story. So he, he goes in with like a machete or something like that. And he just starts stabbing people. And uh, I don't think anyone died, but somebody's in critical condition. You never know what that means. He, it, it could mean, like, permanent brain damage. So you always... It, it's no, <laughs> You made it, Twitch. Uh, but it's always really rough to hear about. And apparently, he tries to escape in a, in a truck, right? So he's trying to get, at, get away from them after he does this to them. And somebody runs out and writes down the license plates of the vehicle. And this leads to a very quick arrest of him from the cops. So it's like, man... Keep that in mind, guys. If somebody breaks the law, hit and run, whatever it is, get that license plate number. Yeah, you definitely gotta get the license plate. Remember what kind of car it is, too. So, it's good for him on catching that. Get get some justice, right? This the sad thing about justice. You never really get everything back, but, you know, I feel like it's important to have justice. It's back broken, nice. So, oh, I'm just go for these wings now, I guess. How much time we got left? Got plenty of time. Oh, he's mad. He's going to the last area. Why not live in the other area? You can use your gun more. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's like 117 murders per 100,000 people. Uh, and the houses out there get really cheap. For obvious reasons. Nobody wants to live there. And then uh, you cross the highway and the murder rate drops significantly to like 7 per 100,000. And... Then the houses are like twice as much, even though they're tiny. So it's, it's, it's really sad. If people think that, because there was like that Virginia senator who's like, oh, we got to stop white flight. It's like, you're never going to stop white flight if people just look at the murder statistics and decide they don't want to be a murder. You know, they don't want to be another number on a list of murders. 117 people died in 2019 that year. Uh, and it's just like, nobody even knows your name. You're just a number on a file now because you lived in the wrong neighborhood. It's like, yeah, of course people don't want to live in that neighborhood. There's no amount of guilting that you're going to do to get people to stay there. Ooh, why are you moving out of this neighborhood? Are you racist? It's like, no, the murder rate's high. To, to put it in perspective, guys, I live right next to Ferguson, Missouri, and that's one of the areas we were looking into. It's like, just really high murder. What are you going to do about it? Maybe maybe not have so much murder. People would, people would decide to move in, probably, because the houses are cheap. Right, we're looking for a cheap house, but we're not looking to have our... We're not. She's not looking to have her parents murdered, you know what I mean? Or, or it's not just murder. Uh, so, like, the murder rate's very high, but the murder rate just reflects one one issue. The uh, theft and the uh, violent theft is uh, another issue as well. So people who suffer from just getting beat up for, like, their wallet, right? It's like, she doesn't want that for her 60-year-old parents. They can't... And, and they would probably be targets because, you know, they're older kind of how it works. You're, you're a good target if you're older. Alright, we're going for wing number two. We got the first w uh, wing under wraps. 
But yeah, there's uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Maybe we should be helping them with the chest until he topples. What do you guys think? Help him with the chest until he topples? Is my bullet traveling through the rock? Looks like my bullet travels through the rock. What the hell? What kind of object is this rock then? Ah, man, if we don't hit the chest just right, we do like no damage to it. Alright, let's get behind cover. Most mass killings that are reason has been told to the public area are usually politics, fame, religion, or suicide. Yeah. Man, they suck. The whole point of living in a society is to live in a civilized society, and, and people like that ruin, always ruin it. They ruin it. Left wing broken. We have the tail, the head, and the chest left. And it looks like they already got started on the head, so I'm gonna help. With, I'm gonna help them with the head and the chest. And in the next run, we're gonna go straight for the tail. Oh my God, look at this. And the next run, we're gonna go straight for the tail. So that's another reason to use light bowgun right there. You, you're able to break both wings pretty easily. Which is one of the critical areas. You need to break the... Here, let's get this done. You need to break the... Uh, you need to break the wings in order to get all of the possible rewards. Oh, were we just far enough away? Alright, he's in the critical state. Let's see if we can break that chest of his. Oh man, this feels really powerful. I'm not gonna lie, this elemental ammo is ridiculous. Because I'm out of the range of a lot of his physical attacks, and yet we're standing back here just dealing tons of damage. It doesn't look like it because it's hitting 30s and 20s, but I, trust me, because he's so large, that actually adds up really fast. And the firing rate's pretty fast, and the reload's really good, so we're just going bullet after bullet after bullet. Of course, we weren't doing our best damage earlier because we were going after the wings, and the wings don't really have much for you to pierce. But we're, we're focusing on the body again, and we're going to be dealing really high damage again. Oh, he's knocked over. Amazing. See, just like I told you, like, he's back on us. Because we're actually getting multiple procs now. But we had to get we had to get those wing breaks first. Alright, we jumped on the head before he could wind pressure us. Soften the head there. I think that he stole the uh, aggro here, which is a good thing. I'm waiting for him to jump. That's what I'm waiting for him to do. When he jumps in the air, I'm going to try and shoot him out of the sky. Actually, the other thing we should be doing is going for a paralyze for our team. Which we can do right now. Come on now. Alright, there's the Paralyze. Hopefully they take advantage of it by getting lots of damage on the chest. Have we broken the chest already? We haven't broken the chest, right? It escaped. <laughs> Close call, guys. Almost. So for the next round, we got two breaks on the head, one break on the chest, and one break on the tail. We don't need to hit his limbs at all. We're done with the limbs. We're done with the wings. We're done with the back, even. So it's just head, chest, tail. I'll be focusing on the tail to start us out. I feel like the head's really a tricky area. Awakening potential acquired. Safajiva's Aqua Shot. Sleep him. I think they said Game Economist is playing on Xbox right now. Not sure. I'm on Xbox. This is an Xbox stream. I'm just looking at the murder rates in my country, South Africa, and we have an average 36 murders per 100,000 a year. So some of those neighborhoods you mentioned are worse than my third world country. Tevasa Divinorum, you have no idea. So if you look up the highest murder rates in the world, 
the top murder rates are all happening in Latin America right now, but then on the 13th place in the list is America, St. Louis. That's where I live. It's actually, was it 13 or 15? I can't remember. So you would think that the highest murder rates are happening in other places in the world, for example, third world countries, developing countries, and for some reason, America actually ends up being the highest murder rates in the world. They're all Democrat places too, by the way. St. Louis is Democrat. Chicago's Democrat. New York has some of the highest murder rates. Is it? No, I don't remember if New York's on the list. Baltimore is on the list. Um, what else is on the list? Baltimore, Detroit. Did I already mention Detroit? Baltimore, Detroit, Baltimore, Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis. I'm trying to remember if there's any others. A lot of the times it's drug related. Uh, and then, you know, everyone leaves those areas and it's really, really shitty. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, higher murder rate than uh, Mexico. Uh, you've got like actual drug cartels in Mexico, right? That's like a mafia where they deal nothing but drugs and they, they fight with each other. That's one of the reasons the murder rate is so high. These uh, drug teams, they like fight with each other for territory and then they have like competitions to see who can do the most gruesome murders and then they post it online for everyone to see to let them know how tough they are, how scary they are. Like if you get caught by us, we're going to skin you alive. That kind of stuff, right? And somehow... In America, we still have a higher murder rate than some of those cities over there in Atlanta. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, one of the places in America where the murder rate's really high is, I believe, East Side St. Louis, but just kind of in that whole area, it's really high. 118 per 100,000 in the area we were looking to move for parents. It's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but the, the houses there are very cheap. <laughs> so it's like, you could live there for very cheap. It's, 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 it's actually absolutely silly. And people think, people attribute a lot of racism to the whole situation, but it's like, what are you going to do about it? Here are the facts. Most of the people over there are black. The murder rate's insane. I'm never moving there. There's no amount of money that's worth, you know, so like I said, it's cheap. But there's no amount of money that's going to get me to move in there. So the, the crime's too high. And then usually what you're accused of is, well, you should be pouring money into that neighborhood. And it's like, but I don't want to. I want to pour money into my neighborhood because that's just human nature. Like, I don't want to pay for your family either. I want to pay for my family. And if everyone pays for their own families, then things are good. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the basis of living in a society. You help other people out. And I'm okay with helping other people out. We just can't go bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? So if you're asking for too much and it looks like we're kind of going bankrupt, I don't want to give anymore. So it's kind of like, you look at the problems in St. Louis, you could just pour tons of money into it. And I don't know what to say. When it comes to theft, I can understand high theft statistics like okay there's a poor area there's tons of theft i can understand that but like the murder who's forcing you to pull the trigger nobody nobody forces you to kill people that's just something you kind of have to really there's kind of like this line you have to cross where you're like all right now i'm going to murder someone there's like this line you have to cross and i don't care how poor and sad you are or how the system oppress i don't care about any of that it's like don't murder people and, and that's that's my opinion that's how i feel about things and it's like, if everyone felt that way, there would just be less murder. And then if your neighborhood has cheap housing and a low murder rate, somebody like the Game Economist will move right in. Because I like cheap houses. I actually like cheap houses. You know, it makes sense to me to live in a cheaper home and put more of your money into stock. That makes more sense to me than to buy a big fancy home that doesn't earn you a lot of money. I mean, maybe if it, do it does if the house goes up in value, but the stock market is pretty consistent. So you can just go straight for stock. And so I would I would move right into a cheap house in Ferguson, but not if the murder rates are high. And, and and so it's like, how do you convince people to stop murdering people? I don't know how to do it. Do you know how to do it? I'd move my I would move my parent in laws right into Ferguson, Missouri right now. The the cost of housing there is insanely cheap. It's like thirty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars. You can buy a little retirement home out there for nothing. But then you look at the murder rates in, in like some of those areas and it's just I don't know what to tell you. It's like what you just said. In South Africa, you have 30 murders per 100,000 where you live. And where I live is 107, it was like 117 or something like that. 117,000 per, per 100,000. I'm sorry, 117 murders per 100,000 in the last year. And it's just kind of like, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to stop people from murdering? What law are you going to write that tells them don't murder? It's like, they're not going to listen to that law. They're already ready to murder people. I mean, unless you bring out, like, torture, I don't know. Do people actually respond to torture? I'm guessing they don't. All right, we're going to go for the head, the tail, and the chest, guys. That's the uh, goal here. Head, tail, chest. 
Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is. I don't know how to stop people from doing that. I, if you got a solution, let me know. <laughs> I'm a, I'm probably just gonna move out of Missouri to tell you the truth. I I do like the cost of living here. My wife and I have talked about a strategy where we own a home in Missouri and we pay Missouri's low taxes, but then we own a second home in a a nice, lovely area in another state or even another another country that will let you stay there on an extended visa and just live in that other country. See what I'm saying? So like maybe we pay Missouri in taxes, but we go live in a little home in Scotland or something like that. See what I'm saying? So we've thought about doing that as a way to avoid paying crazy taxes. Because that's the other thing we hate. We hate high taxes. My wife and I, we hate high taxes. It, it, I don't trust government to spend taxes well. I never have. Uh, I like to spend my own money. Even if that means I get less, quote, free stuff from the government. I, I like to spend my own money. I like to save up for my own retirement. You know. I don't want the government to do those things for me. Government, I just don't trust them. Maybe you trust your government because your government's good. C Canada actually doesn't have that much debt. Did you know that? I've looked at Canada. Their debt their debt to GDP ratio is pretty decent. And it's like, wow, well, maybe if I lived in Canada, I would pay taxes. But it's like here in America, our debt's larger than our GDP. And it's just like, this is insane. How are we this bad? And then they're like, okay, and all we need to fix this problem is all your money. And I'm like, no, I'm not giving you any money. That's terrible. You guys have already proven that you're no good with money. It's like, you wouldn't give money, you wouldn't give your money away to somebody who's no good with money because you they're just going to spend it. They're going to spend it on garbage. I don't know what they spend it all on. They just spend it and then they print more and then your money's worth less because they printed more. So yeah. I'm going to live in a safe neighborhood with lower murder rates than, than freaking St. Louis, Missouri. 100, uh, 117 to 100,000 people. It's insane. I live in a cheap nice area with low murder rates and uh, I'm not gonna feel guilted about it I, I don't care about what anyone says about it God, I hate all the guilt that goes on there's so much guilt tripping that goes on these days in politics that everyone wants to make you feel guilty you're guilty for being this way you're guilty for being that way they'll get you on something you have too much money the color of your skin's wrong uh, you had two parents all this privileged shit right oh you're straight rather than bisexual or something I don't know whatever it is all of politics is like guilting and uh, trying to get people to feel bad and I'm, I'm super over that you can't guilt me any, anymore I'm really over it I, I learned I learned the other day that people kind of they, they don't understand how to set boundaries right people don't as children we don't often learn how to set boundaries and stop people from manipulating us and I feel like a lot of people could use that right now they could they could use a realization that they can just tell politicians to eat it you know like go shut the up and and f do what's best for you don't listen to the politicians and their guilt their guilt tricks they're very good at guilting it's a form of manipulation but library's free says arson he'll send an sos flare out i have one suggestion legalize every drug and sell it cheap enough so that all drug gangs are obsolete they'll never be obsolete because if you make the drugs legal the uh they'll just find some other illegal activity that's just kind of how it works. So they just move on to the next illegal activity. And the thing is, there are always some things you don't actually want to make legal. So let's say, uh, you know, sex trafficking, which by the way, sex trafficking is very close to slavery, if you didn't realize that. So that's one of the main things they actually do is sex trafficking. You're not going to just make sex trafficking legal. So they're never going to be gone. They're never going to be gone. Now, I agree with the criminalizing marijuana because marijuana has not proven itself to be a harmful drug. So it doesn't make sense that that's illegal. And I wish we could have changed it by now. It's 2019. How long is it going to take? Right? It doesn't make any sense to me how long it takes. By the way, do we have somebody who can cut the tail? Tanawa, I'm counting on you to help me cut the tail, Tanawa. Because you deal severed damage. Uh, do we have our... No, we don't. We don't have a temporal mantle. Hmm. Oh my god, did I just jump into that? I did. We're in the last stage. I guess he hasn't broken the walls yet. Uh, but yeah, you, I'm talking about a lot of stuff pretty quickly here. I'm just, I'm tired of the political guilting. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I like it. I'm over it. <laughs> they want you to feel bad about everything. That's all it is. If you feel bad about stuff, you're more likely to give them money. I think they figure that out. They're like, if we guilt them, they will give us the money. It's like, don't let them take your money, guys. Spend your money the way you see fit. I don't trust the U.S. government to spend money at all. And it's all it's all guilt-tripping and manipulations from people who don't understand boundaries, you know? 
God damn it, dude. The energy is so bad. The energy attacks, they always land on me. I've played this guy a decent number of rounds, and they still land on me easily. They just have so much range. Like, how are you expected to avoid them? All right, we should have had our flash pod ready. Here's a tip I just recently found out from a speedrunner. The Mew Meow Kano actually applied the status that your Palco weapon have. If he hold a poison weapon, he will apply poison. That sounds really cool. That actually sounds like a pretty good tip. So we will definitely take a look at that. Help these guys out with the head break. Ouch. That's KO. We gotta break the head twice in order to uh, get the full part break on the head, I think. Yeah, I'm over feeling guilted. I'm all over it. No more of it. It's not gonna work. I don't even trust charities. I have no idea where my money goes, so I'm not going to give it. I mean, even even charities are more trustworthy than politicians. I think that yeah, somebody in the it's somebody in the non-for-profit charities probably making, you know, like CEO type money because otherwise he would go be a CEO. I get all that. I get all that stuff. Uh, but but just here in America, like, how can we be so far in debt that we actually have a larger debt? Then we do what our country sells in a year, right? That's just, it's, it's so bad. I, I feel like it's understated how bad that is. It's incredibly bad. And not all countries are like this. America's uniquely like this. America's debt's crazy. And we act like it doesn't matter, and it's like, it does matter. Have you seen how much interest we pay out? That interest could be used to do so much more, but because we like to spend money that we don't have, we're just in debt to everyone, and it doesn't have to be this way. Never feel guilty, just annoy. Just annoyed. Ah, too slow. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Taniwa fainted. No, Taniwa! Feels like we're not getting enough damage on the head, right? We haven't broken his head once. I think that the... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get this. Let's get this head broken. Nice, we dodged it. <laughs> Is he doing it again already? Ah, he's doing it again. I feel like we're not going to actually manage to break his head. Maybe we should just go for the tail. Yeah, we haven't got one of the head breaks yet, so I say we go for the tail. God, too slow there. So you have to be really fast to knock him out of the air with the flash flash uh, pod. Yeah, you gotta be really fast. Well, of course it's after me. I'm like the only one who hasn't died yet. <laughs> nope. Not gonna stay under that. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I just always get hit by that move. Let's run over here. Wow, how is he hitting me with this wind pressure? I'm like a thousand miles away. Are you going to do a New Year's stream? Oh, I think I actually dodged that. 
There we go. Nice. That's exactly what I was going for. Okay. Man, I am just about to die. How's this tail not come in? It's after one of our teammates. 48 hours live stream till New Year's. Right, New Year's is just around the corner. Ah, oh, man, he keeps turning. It's so hard to shoot his tail. Sometimes you can damage him, and, and ca this will cause him to fall down as well. When are you going to use the hammer? Well, we finished the hammer a while ago. Ah, Slade with no head breaks, no tail breaks. That's too bad. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, got a nice stretch going. Wow, we're two hours and 40 minutes in. What? I would recommend not soloing Safajiva. It will waste your time unless you can't join another session. That's right. You can use the Clutch Claw to activate gas to explode. Oh, I didn't know that. It's interesting to note. Can't wait for New Year's. Then I can finally start working on my dream... Oh, wait. Is it already Christmas again? <laughs> what? 2020 is the year India becomes a superpower. I thought India already was a superpower. Don't they have nukes or something like that? What do you have to be to have, to be a superpower? What does your country have to be? TGC, we broke the head once, says Deluxe. Okay, nice. I don't know how we didn't get the tail. Can I see the build? Kevin, for $100, I will let you see the build. Let's see, what do we get? Bunch of stuff. 12 minutes, huh? Miasma Jewel 4. Wow, that's so useful. <laughs> what about the bow? The bow is canceled. Hold on, a sip of this drink. How's it going, Mackenzie? He says, holy crap, your videos helped me like a lot. I appreciate it. No problem, man. They gotta fix the caste system, at least I hope they do. Oh right, India has the caste system, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think that's a, that must be a tough reality for a lot of people. Matt says cards tonight. Of course we're doing cards tonight, Matt. In fact, I was just about to start talking about that, guys. This is where the live stream ends, and the n next one begins. We're moving over to my other channel, where we open up Pokemon cards. I've thought about doing the Pokemon cards from this channel, but I, I don't want it to dilute the fact that this is like a gaming channel. The card channel will always be like a hobby channel. Let's go ahead and do a pose. Weapon pose. All right, so we got our weapon pose going on. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up the other stream, and I will leave a link in the chat uh, for you guys to join the other stream if you're interested in joining it. It takes me about five to ten minutes to set it up, okay? I'll be back.
Hey, Mackenzie Smith, thank you so much for that donation, man. I just saw that. Uh, I, I was setting up the other channel. We'll be jumping over to the other channel now. Let me go grab a link for you guys. Some nice donations tonight. All right. I'm glad you guys enjoy the live stream, too, by the way. I try to keep it entertaining. Sometimes we talk about some serious subjects like politics and religion. Actually, I guess we do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's an interesting, you know, we're able to talk about those subjects because we spend so much time grinding, you know. When you grind, you can really have a conversation because you don't have to pay as much attention to the actual fighting. All right. So here's the link to the second live stream. This is going to be on my card channel. And there it is. All right. And I'll just go ahead and spread that over to my Discord channels. There we go. Two thousand eight hundred people active in the Discord at the moment, huh? Not as many people are on in the Discord at night. Usually it reaches uh, about four thousand people in the daytime. Well, it's Kiba. Oh, I see. He's got that message. I gotta read that later. All right, and now we're ready to end this live stream. Thank you very much. Have a nice night, guys.